Welcome to Tree Dig School of Rock and Agar. Agar and mycology and its many uses. Starting spores. Testing URLC liquid culture. Inoculating grain. Testing grain and substrate for cleanliness. Taking wild clones or clones from a tub. But Matt, how the f*** do we do all that? Well, out there in the land of genetics, there's many ways to start, but the three most common are spores, clean cultures on plates of agar, or liquid culture. Any of these you can take and put directly to agar. The spores, you're definitely going to want to start there to ensure they're clean, but also to select some genetics for whatever you're doing. If you want a large swath of genetics, then you're going to take one of those early agar plates. If you want a really refined culture, you're going to want to take several transfers to refine that down to an isolate. Now let's say you purchase some agar from a friend, or uh, you got some donated perhaps. Well, you can replicate those. You just take a transfer, put them on another agar plate, and you voila, have more. Same with liquid culture. You should test all that liquid culture that you get. Don't necessarily trust your vendor until you've used them several times. You put it to agar and it will show you that it's clean, not bacterial. And then it will also provide you with another plate to use elsewhere. Well, now you say, well, hey, I got all these agar plates that I've tested or I've made transfers to. What do I do with them? Well, first, if they're not clean, you need to keep taking transfers. Maybe put them to water agar, perhaps. We'll go over that in the course. But if they're clean, you have several options. You can take that agar and put it to grain to inoculate it, much like you would a liquid culture. You can go ahead and cut it again and make more copies so that you can do more of those things later on. Or you could scrape some mycelium off and add it to liquid culture and make your own liquid culture. Or you can do all three, and you still end up with that plate at the end to dump in the grain bag. So there's lots of options. You have lots of things that you can do, and we'll go over them all in the course. I hope that this kind of informs you a little bit better of what agar is used for in mycology. Thanks for tuning in.